Hey guys, I'm recording today's video on my uh, streaming rig just because um, downstairs is going through a bit of an overhaul, but I wanted to give you guys an uh, update on what's been going on over at the uh, Frame Chaser house. So I made a mistake with the 5950X versus 10900K video. I did the same thing that every tech tuber did and every XOC guy did. Um, but first, this video was brought to you by your mom. Do you remember all those allowances you were supposed to get? I was getting them the whole time. Thanks to your mom, we never have to shill on this channel. So let me tell you guys what I did or what happened here. I did the, so the XOC guys and the uh, mainstream tech tuber guys, they, they run benchmarks and numbers without actually playing the game, which is what I did in that last video, which was wrong. Um, when I actually tried to play a game, I noticed uh, the error of my ways, if you want to say. So Zen has severe audio and recording crackling problems. Uh, I'm, yes, I'm using Notepad. It has crackling and audio problems if you overclock the fabric too high. And when you do that, you have to change your CCD and IOD voltages. And I haven't been able to find a correlation to the ratio of these two voltages to how high your fabric goes. It seems to be like, I don't know, man. I think it's, I think it's random depending on your chip and your motherboard to be honest um but what i'm going to show you guys today um i'm going to show you the fastest way that i found to actually tune these two voltages so in that video actually i had 3800 c14 right um and it worked it like it was fully stable stable in every word like gaming stable right uh, the problem was, well, I guess it was benchmark stable, not gaming stable. D in order for it to be gaming stable, like you can't be playing a, any type of shooter with audio crackling. It's it's completely unacceptable. This has to be this has to be completely gone for you to be competitive in games, right? And what I ended up settling down with was going all the way down to thirty six hundred C. 14 dash 13 etc etc and i got the latency down to the same as the 3800 but we're gonna save that for another video um i'm just gonna show you guys how i found this out the fastest way so it actually requires a capture card believe it or not um when you have a capture card plugged into your chipset slot and you try and run OBS as like a recording machine, if these two voltages are out of sync for the fabric speed that you're at, the capture card will just start flickering right away. And that's like the fastest. And then the, 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 the capture card flicker coincides with audio crackling. So you don't actually have to load up a music file every time you want to check. You just check the capture card. It was just like this weird way that I found to do it because I was using my capture card uh, recording at the same time and I saw the flickering, right? So then what I did is I adjusted these two voltages over the time span of like three days to get rid of the the capture card flickering and then that in turn got rid of all the audio crackling but let i'm going to show you just how finicky this can be so i'm going to go i'm going to go over here and record off of this now so what i'm actually doing right now is i'm actually i'm actually recording my obs window from another obs window um and what i want to show you you can see how the the capture card like my notepad on my gaming machine over here it's not flickering right now right it's 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 there's no there's no black and white flicker so all i'm gonna do is restart the computer and increase my ccd voltage by 20 and let's see what happens okay we're back 
check this out. So it's, it's kind of stable right now, but it's going to flicker. Even just idling here. Just wait. Just wait for it. It's actually quite stable. There it is. There it is. Uh, I'm not even sure if my balls dropped right now. All I did, and you can, you can imagine that every single time that it flickers like that, that's an audio crackle while you're actually playing a game. So, all I did was I increased my CCD voltage by 0 0.2 uh, volt. 0 0.2? 2. 2 volt. That's all I did. That's how insane this is. Look at that. Look at that. That's how, that's how precise you have to be with Zen. Okay, I'm gonna reboot. I'm gonna reboot and go back to normal now. Okay, so moral of the story, guys. Those numbers that I gave you in that last video that I, where I was using 3,800 megahertz uh, RAM speed, you cannot use those numbers as gaming numbers. Like maybe in the future, th th that might be possible with future Agisa updates. But as of right now, those numbers are not legitimate. Like in terms of uh, maximum gaming stable performance. Um, in my opinion, game crackling, uh, XOC benchmarking is not the same as game ready. If that makes sense. So the next video that I'm going to be doing for you guys. I just wanted to do this little trick to show you guys. But the next video I'm going to be posting really quickly here. Uh, is 3600 C14 numbers. I have this perfectly stable uh, with 4x8. Uh, sorry. 4x8. Um, I have this perfectly stable. Um, no crackling. Zero. No problems whatsoever. And... I have this, I tightened the timings on this so far that I actually have 55 nanoseconds on it. And the 3800 C14 was, was 54 nanoseconds. So big deal. I want to see if there's a difference anyway, right? But this, I'm bringing this video, I'm bringing this video to you guys next. So be patient, stay tuned for that. But the numbers from the last video, you can pretty much ignore those because I did not actually try and play a game on those numbers, which was my mistake. I, I, I didn't know this was even a damn thing. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know that you had to have your headphones on while benchmarking Zen. How dumb is that? Okay. Anyway, so the trick of this video, just attach something to your uh, chipset PCI Express slot. This, this capture card seems to be the best way to do it. Um, I don't know if you can attach some other device to it, but attach something to your chipset and you can use that as your stability indicator for the rest of your system. So if whatever is in your chipset slot failing or cutting in and out of some sort, you know that you're gonna get audio crackle. Uh, in the same regard, you can just go to um, voice recorder right here just record yourself saying something for like five seconds play it back and if you hear crackle not stable um uh i know somebody's gonna post about down below disable pcie gen 4 this didn't do shit for me i i put gen 2 on all my stuff and i still got the crackle and the cutting in and out and all that stuff your ccd and iod voltages and um ppdg VGG, I don't know, the third one, they all have to be in some ra like random uh, ratio with each other to like remove the static away from your system. It's really strange, but I wanted to show you guys the trick today. That's all I got for you today. Um, that's pretty much all I've been doing for the last week is just like, I've been like, increase CCD by 0 0.02, restart, Check the capture card. Oh, it, it, it's flickering half a second as much now. That means I'm on the right track. Increase IOD by 0 0.03. Oh shit, it's flickering a bit more. Oh, maybe let's try reducing IOD by 0 0.03. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's not flickering as much. And, and then you kind of have to do that like you have to like play detective a little bit where you have to do that lower the flickering frequency as you go and eventually you'll find both of your voltages where the flickering stops and then there's no more crackling 
That's it. That that's 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 what I've been doing for an entire week, guys. An entire fucking week. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, guys. I hope everyone's having a good holiday. Uh, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, and uh, especially subscribe. It looks like we're gonna be hitting three thousand before New Year's. Let's make sure we get that number. Um. Other than that. Stay tuned for that uh, new bench. The stay tuned for the game stable benchmark number that I'm going to be delivering to you guys. That's going to be the the one that really matters, not the uh, not the. I made the mainstream mistake mistake in that other one. Ignore that one. The next one is going to be the real one. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later, and uh, I'll be streaming on Tuesday, so I'll see you then. Talk to you later.